Okay, so let's talk about what you're actually going to be verifying during DQC or District Quality Control. Just like the 10 agency required charge questions, there's also a list of items that, by policy, each DQC team is required to verify as applicable to the project they're reviewing. Admittedly, there is a bit of art and science to reviewing, and the first verification item is indeed a little bit of both. The review team must verify the appropriateness of assumptions, methods, procedures, computations, including quantities, and the materials used in the analyses consistent with the project purpose or the decisions being made. The review team also needs to verify that all calculations are correct. Yes, that means checking the math and the comprehensiveness of the array of PDT-considered alternatives. The review team must verify that the PDT effectively implemented the concept of transparency. I know that sounds kind of vague, but it just means that the methods used to develop the analyses and conclusions are clearly and fully presented. In addition, the review team must verify the appropriateness of the data, the level of data, all assumptions, and the safety risks based on deterministic criteria and risk-informed decision-making information. Finally, the review team must verify the correctness, accuracy, and clarity of graphics and the overall plan presentation, as well as the reasonableness of results compared to the project's purpose in compliance with applicable laws and, of course, USACE policies. Let's talk a bit more about checking the math, because that part's pretty important. By policy and as directed in the MSC and District Quality Management System, or QMS processes, all computations must undergo a rigorous independent check during DQC. Remember, the project schedule should allocate sufficient time to allow for thorough quality checks. So guess what? If that's not in place and you're on the PDT or the DQC review team, that's your cue to speak up and be heard. Advocate for the time you need to perform a quality review. Because guess what else? The reviewer assumes the same level of responsibility as the author of the computations when it comes to determining that the conclusions from the computations are valid and used for the intended purpose. Remember, it is your right to be checked. Your work deserves a quality review, and as a reviewer, you deserve the time you need to ensure a quality review. This is also where the term red dot check comes in. Reviewers are required to place a highlight or a red dot on each annotation and number on a computation sheet indicating concurrence with the correctness of the information shown. And then initial and date each and every computation sheet being reviewed or checked. Okay, now look, I know we're engineers and we can sometimes take things very literally, but just for clarification, a red dot check doesn't have to mean that there is literally a red dot on each annotation. It can be a blue dot, it can be a yellow highlight, heck, it can even be a unicorn sticker. It just needs to be a visible indication that the reviewer has verified the computation. And one more thing, you can't just type in your initials. Each computation sheet must be wet initialed or digitally signed. This goes for computer computations and model runs, as well as other complex methods of analysis, including numerical methods or parametric studies which must be validated by a hand calculation of the critical loading case. Red dot checks are required for graphics and plans as well, including all dimensions, elevations, and notes. We highly encourage using Dr. Checks and digital files. It makes DQC documentation a whole lot easier for everyone involved. Look, I know this might sound like a lot, but don't get overwhelmed. Remember, DQC should be a seamless integration into the project delivery process with reviews conducted continuously as the work is being produced, rather than thought of as a singular milestone. So just like that old saying about eating an elephant, we just need to break down the project into subcomponents, one bite at a time. <laughs>